Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here, bringing you another everyday office video. And in today's video, I'd like to demonstrate something I just figured out how to do, and that was to enable Teams for external users um, with your company. So if you're in Office 365 and you log into office.com and you are an administrator of the Office 365 setup, you should be able to go to your admin button over on the right hand side here or click on the waffle and find admin from your available apps. Now when you go into the admin area, under settings on the left hand side, there's the ability to go to services and add-ins. When you click on services and add-ins, there's a list of basically all your different apps here. And one of the apps, of course, specifically for this scenario is Microsoft Teams. So I go to Microsoft Teams and over here on the right, I don't know why they hide it on this drop-down menu like this, but if you hit the drop-down menu for settings by license type, you can switch from business and enterprise over to guest. And you can see here, you can turn Microsoft Teams on for all external guests. So that is external guests to the company so that they can collaborate with the rest of your team on a particular project. So I then click save. Now at that point, I can open up Teams, whether in the desktop or in the browser. Let's go ahead and open it on the desktop here. If we open up Teams from the desktop and we get logged in, we can go to any of our Teams within Teams. Over on the left-hand side, let's say that we're talking about the 2018 marketing project over here on the left. Click the little ellipsis here and find the option for Add Members. If uh, the system has processed the information already, when you click on add members, you'll see that it says, at first it says start typing a name, distribution list, or security group. That would be everybody internally. But here, because we just flipped that switch to allow external users, all we have to do is put in their email addresses. So I can say, for example, that Tom Parcells at realtyonlinegroup.com is a person who should be added as a guest member to Microsoft Teams. Add them, great. And then I can click close. So now I'll go off and be Tom for a moment. So now I'm logged in to Tom Parcell's email account. You can see here that Tom just received an email from email.teams.microsoft.com uh, asking him to join up as a guest with Anderson Wiley, open up the team for the 2018 marketing project, And as you can see here, it says for um, your ability to get in here, we want you to log in and uh, to know who you are based off of the profile. So click accept. And I'll just open it in the web app since uh, Tom is, of course, logged in on the same machine as Neil here. As a guest, you can work and chat. You can chat one-on-one -on -one or with the group. You can connect through online meetings. And we're good to go. So now Tom can see the 2018 marketing project, general internet ads, television ads, and any additional channels, can jump into any conversations, can access the files for these different segments of Microsoft Teams, and can, for example, open up the Animation Ideas PDF file and take a look at what's going on inside there. So that is guest access to Microsoft Teams for people outside the organization as long as they log in as themselves.